So I got some good news when it comes to Donald Trump's presidency. My generation doesn't like you. My generation doesn't like what you represent. My generation actually has this thing called a brain. My generation actually looks into who you fucking pick, Donald. My generation says, hey, fuck you. Fuck your administration. You do not represent my America. You do not represent the United States I know. You do not represent the ideals of this fucking country. What you represent and your administration represent are a bunch of bigoted, despicable, fucking traitorous scum. And we're going to walk out on one of them if they come to our college. Because fuck them. Here's a clip of what I think is the most American thing you can fucking do. Thank you all. Father Jenkins, Board of Trustees, distinguished members of the faculty, my fellow honorees, guests, grandparents, parents, family and friends, what would I do if I were in their position? The exact same damn thing. If Mike Pence came to my college graduation, I'd walk out. If Donald Trump came to my college graduation, I'd walk out. If George W. Bush came to my college graduation, I'd walk out. Why the fuck should I listen to war criminal and corrupt liars? Why should I listen to them? Give me one reason. Oh, it's because they held a high position in government. Ooh, look, it's the vice president. You have to respect him by default. No, not if the vice president doesn't represent anything I believe in as a goddamn American. Not if he stands behind a sexist, homophobic, bigoted scumbag like Donald Trump. But Trump said he's okay with gay marriage. Yeah, but he doesn't agree with it personally. If you don't believe that your fellow American has the right to marry whoever the fuck they want, as long as they're of legal age, then you're an asshole. You're a scumbag. You're a bigot. And you can go fuck yourself. When you look at Mike Pence's record, it is a record of shit. It is a record of fear. It is a record of disgrace. Whether you look at his record as a fucking senator or a fucking governor, it is a joke. The man tried to pass an anti-gay discrimination bill as governor of his state. The man tried to encourage freaking this bullshit of teaching the controversy of evolution and creationism. There's no fucking controversy, Mike. There's fact and fiction. What you're promoting is fiction. And if you're going to promote fucking fiction, why the fuck should it be your fucking Bible, you fucking piece of shit? So you try to encourage that. So why the fuck should a student, a college graduate, listen to your dumb ass? Why? Why should I listen to it? Why should a millennial listen to it? Why should any of those Notre Dame students listen to your shit? Because I'm the vice president. Oh, you're the vice president. You're the vice president. Oh, that's so cute. You supported the war in Iraq. You supported the Patriot Act. You supported ton of other shitty legislation that I'd have to pull up, but I don't have a fucking computer on me right now, or at least one that I can easily access, or it won't take a long ass time to load. The point is, I'm proud of my fellow Americans. I'm proud of my fellow college students. They could have stormed that stage. Even with Secret Service, they could have stormed it. They didn't. They just walked out. This one, I gotta go back and show you the one thing I love the most in this fucking clip. I'll slow down the footage for you.
anti-feminist that wouldn't know the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. if it smacked you upside your fucking head. Why should anyone listen to what you have to say? You can say whatever you want, but it doesn't mean that anyone needs to listen to it. They give you a platform, people have the right to walk away. If you get offended by that, then fuck you. Because let me tell you, Mikey, there's a hell of a lot worse people can do than just walking out and having a rainbow flag on the back like a cape as they walk out. The administration you represent is a disgrace. It is a joke. There's only one good thing that administration has done, and that is repealing the Trans-Pacific Partnership. But even that wasn't even a real fucking accomplishment, because you guys are bringing it back in another form, which I shouldn't be surprised by. Mike, allow me to explain to you why they walked out on you. Because you hate gay people. You hate your fellow Americans. You think a consensual lifestyle that they live is wrong. You think that your Bible trumps the Constitution. You are everything that a millennial, a smart millennial, American should despise. Your generation fucked up. And your generation is the reason why my generation is fucked. You helped crash our economy. You helped expand Reaganomics. Shit that caused the financial crash, if we're going to keep it real. Your generation helped the deregulation of Wall Street. Why should we listen to a damn thing you have to say? They didn't boo. They let you speak. All they did was walk. Because they're like, fuck this asshole. And here's another question I have for you, Mike. What U.S. law, federal or state, says the United States is a Christian nation? I look forward to when a real progressive Democrat destroys you in 2020. If that walking out protest was a sign of anything, it is a sign that my generation will not tolerate your bullshit. Many of us wish we could do that. I wish I could do that to you. To basically be as condescending to you like that. Because from my point of view, you are a fucking joke. And you do not deserve any respect from me. No matter what position in our government you hold. You will always be scum to me. People like you I will always hate. Especially when they are in power. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.